What's going on, Coastal Nords? Welcome back to another ranking. This time, it's of Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri, the most beautiful park I've ever been to in terms of landscaping and theming. This park has some of the best coasters from different manufacturers, so sit back, relax, and enjoy my ranking of the coasters at Silver Dollar City. Coming in at number 7, we have the kids coaster that makes you want to question life, aka Grand Exposition Coaster. Like why, like just why do these models exist? They're jerky, they're no fun, and it has a poorly designed layout. I mean, they're all the same, curved drop, small pop of painful airtime into a downward mini helix, then a curve to the right, which is so freaking useless. The curve back into the station does nothing, it's not even rough or smooth, I don't know anymore. Okay, on to, no on to number 6. For the number 6 spot, it's a thrillingly painful coaster, as in Thunderation. Okay, but for real, I know you guys want my honest reviews without any roasting, so I'll stop roasting, I'm trying to be funny now. But for real, Thunderation is no smooth experience. It's basically just helixes and it's jank as f I mean, if you want it, you'll know what I mean. It's just very shaky and rough, at least from when I went on it. The number 5th spot is not even thrilling, but it has amazing theming. Not as much theming as Time Traveler, but we'll get there. And the number 5th spot is Fire in the Hole, which some of the theming doesn't even make sense. I think, guys, calm down. I haven't been to Silver Dollar City since June 2021, so I'm trying to remember as best as I can. But the overall theme is like you're going through an old town with a saloon and stuff. I don't really know, but it, has, does, it does have great theming. The number 4 spot is the best landscape b and I've ever been on because wildfire drops off the side of a mountain and there's not many trees in the wildfire plot of land so you really do feel winter in your face and like every other b and flawless it has great g-force and it's pretty smooth because there's not much headbanging there is some headbanging but not a lot The top 3 is Silver Dollar City's best creations, and for the number 3rd spot, we come to Time Traveler. This spinning coaster is insane, it has the best theming on any Silver Dollar City attraction, and the, there's great G's and airtime, but why I didn't put this at number 2 or even number 1 was because it gets really shaky near the back of the train, but that didn't stop me from, from lapping this thing, well it did when I get a headache, but it still didn't stop me. The number 2nd spot is actually an insane creation. Powder keg a blast into the wilderness is as is as right I can't even speak, sorry guys. Is as of right now the best SNS coastal I've ever been on because it's intense and has a great front launch. The launch is pretty sudden and it is pretty whippy. Before we get to the number one spot, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, then consider subscribing down though because we make high quality roller coaster content from well, we use the point of views to vlogs, we have it all. Now back to the video. So, for the number one spot, it comes to an amazing coaster. Outlaw 1 is an amazing airtime pack coaster from start to finish. And the double barrel at the end is amazing because somehow you actually get hang time, like I said in my top 10 coasters video. And it has an amazing drop if you're in the back car or row. So overall, you gotta go out all these coasters on this list. Silver Dollar City is overall an amazingly landscaped and is overall is a very nice amusement park. If you haven't been there yet, I highly suggest you go to ride all the coasters in Silver Dollar City. Because besides the first two coasters I mentioned in this video, the rest are all so good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing like I said. Because we offer such high quality roller coaster content, screw 720p, all the content you'll find here is in 4k at 60 frames per second. But with that said, I'm Ryzen 3rd and I'll see you guys on the horizon. Peace.